how to and that's witness. How not to witness. Do you think gay people should be put to death? Yes, like the Bible says? that's the standard of God. So do you believe that Fags people are worthy of death? That's the standard of God. Well, that's, my the standard there is no God. of God. Well, God you get to tell him that. Human you get to tell him that right as he drop kicks your rebellious ass into hell for eternity. Really believe that the pagans and the abortionists and the feminists and the gays and the lesbians who are actively trying to make that an alternative lifestyle, the ACLU, People for the American Way, all of them who tried to secularize America, I point the thing in their face and say, you helped this happen. A helicopter crash in Iraq took the life of Corporal Richard Bennett, just 25 years old. As family and friends gather to grieve, a small group gathers to protest his funeral. They should have left his carcass right on the ground. The words and the signs are meant to shock. This radical group claims soldiers die because God is punishing America for tolerating homosexuality. How to witness. I'm here to tell you that Jesus loves you. Amen. And you're special. And you might say, you might say, Aaron, what the hell are you talking about? <clears throat> You're trying to shove something on me, but I'm not, man. You know, I'm here to hang out with you and have a good time. So Jesus loves you. This is our last song. And I want you to know. I want you to know if Jesus was on earth right now. If he was here right now, he'd be here with each and every one of you. And this bar has to go or not. I'm not trying to talk about me, nor am I trying to talk about any particular religion where everyone, anyone would say, oh, he's like me. He's, he's like the same religion as me, so we're cool. I'm not, I'm not pr promoting any particular religion. I'm just trying to talk about the creator of, of all of us. And whatever that power is, you know, you might call it Jesus, you might call it Allah, you might not call it anything. Something created us. And I'm trying to tell you that the peace I can never find with the young lady or with being on stage or with anything I tried to make myself happy with in this whole world, that the, I believe the creator of the world has made me happy. By, uh, when I said to everything else, I don't need anything, I don't have anything except for my creator, my father, my only friend. Most people that are on, on the streets that you encounter, I mean, do you... What's it like? I mean, do you try to share your faith with them? I mean, do you do you um, f feel as if as if you're a, an apostle or an evangelist of some sort here on the streets? It's kind of the idea that if you're in love with someone or something, when you talk to someone, they're going to know exactly what you're in love, and you're going to hear all about what I'm in love in because I just can't not talk about it.